Hmm, free Lumite, huh? Well, there's no way that this could any way, shape, or form be a trap. No, I think we should go get our free Lumite. What do you think? Oh, this is not free Lumite, is it? Okay, guys, you can let me out. This is not funny anymore. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting sick. Hi, YouTubers, Phoenix Talon, back with you again for another Creativeverse tutorial. So, one of the things that we typically overlook and something that... Here, let me, let me do the thing with the HUD and the thing there. There we go. Okay. All right. One of the things we typically overlook and the things that we don't really pay a lot of respect to is this thing, the teleporter. It is one of the machines. It doesn't interact with the machines in so far as you can't turn it on, you can't turn it off. Although that would be a really cool developer idea right there. But it is something that is part of the machine base. And we did talk about it originally in our very first uh, episodes of machines and what they are and how to make them. So this is something that we need to look at. But you're like, well, but if I can't interact with it, you know, other than to set teleporter codes, what kind of use is it? Well, it's a touchy subject for me, but traps. Traps are something that you can do with teleporters and something that... I think has been, has been largely overlooked by the Creativeverse population for a long time. Because the thing about teleporters and traps are, you can't get out of these. Well, you can, there's ways. I'll show you a couple of those ways. But for the most part, once you're stuck in one of these, you're stuck. And depending on how long it takes you to get out and where the teleporter is, or not teleporter, but where the trap is located, could ultimately determine whether or not you die in that game or if you can get away. Now, there are a couple of things for this, but we'll go ahead and get into this. So if you'll stick with me, I'll go ahead and show you two different traps. One that will get you some free Lumite. And one that is not a trap, I swear. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build them. And I'm going to also show you that you need pretty much what I have in my toolbar. Actually, you need one more teleporter. It must have gone to this thing. There we go. So you would need... There we go. You need pretty much what's in my toolbar in order to build both traps so it's not really heavy on resources so i'm going to show you how to build both of them and i think it'll be a lot of fun so please stay tuned okay so we're going to go ahead and get started on building these now the first one i'm going to show you is the one that takes the most resources that would be the one that takes the fan now the thing about the fan is is that it takes uh two lumite uh bars two lumite or or not or um refine whatever the two lumite things you need two of those in order to build two fans but we only need one of them so you'll be able to use the other one in some other devious plot of yours now here's the thing about traps i personally i i, I like traps i think they're good but whatever your devious way of getting somebody into that trap is well that's up to you all right so please use these responsibly because here's the thing ultimately if you have people coming into your world and getting into these traps and dying in your world they're not going to come to your world anymore so you know whatever right I would say use these in sensitive areas where people aren't supposed to be anyway um, and then just have one of these set up and then you would actually have the trap somewhere else like you would set it up in the corruption layer or in the lava layer somewhere that's actually going to damage the player over time somewhere you don't have to be in order for that player to get actually hurt. Or you could make it like it's a thing or it's part of like a labyrinth maze type of thing where they have to be smart enough on how to get out of it. I don't know. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of getting out of them, but it's going to be up to you to figure it out. I'm also not going to tell you how to lure them into your trap. That's up to you. Okay? So, yeah. So, we're going to build these right here, and we're going to go ahead and start, like I said, the one with the fan. So, uh, what you need is the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a um, one of these wedges. You can put this however you want. But you're going to need the wedge between your two teleporters, okay? So you're going to have a teleporter here and a teleporter here. So here's what you have to do. Wow, may fart. You kiss your mommy with that mouth, do you? I don't know. I don't know. I tell you, I've been getting a lot of uh, strange names, strange people in here. So we might have to boot somebody while we're in the middle of this tutorial. So bear with me. <laughs> all right. Um, here's the thing. You need to have at least one block separating. Now, I could tell you all the reasons why, or you could, you know, try building it for yourself and understand. You don't necessarily have to have this as ice. I like ice. It works really well. This is tried and true. You can do it however you want. It's your build. Okay. Now, as far as I had um, half slabs on mine to, to show you, I'm going to go ahead and build it this way, though, so that it's just it's a little easier to build. Okay, so you're going to lock these in, all right? 
Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is figure out which teleporter you want to be which, okay? Now, you're going to want to have maybe this teleporter going to this one, right? So, you're going to want to go ahead and, um, or not the teleporter, but having the person teleport in on this first teleporter and then flying back to this one, then they will re-teleport to the first one again. Okay, trust me, it'll work out. So let's go ahead and set this one. So this teleporter's code is going to be something uh, simple, like, I don't know, um, an obsidian slab, okay? So that's this portal, and I have two of those, and that's, well, actually, I, mean, I need three of them. Let's do diamond slab. I'm not using that for anything. Uh, and then we'll use coal for teleports, too. Shouldn't have anything teleporting to, right? All right, over here. So this teleporter's co code was diamond slab. So that means this one, we want it to teleport to diamond slab. And this portal's code is going to be something else like, oh, I don't know, dirt. There you go. Something that, because you don't want anybody teleporting to this one. And you don't want this one teleporting to anything else, right? Because you want them to go from this one to go to this one. All right. So what that means is we need our fan over here. So we'll go ahead and place our fan and then rotate that fan up so it's like that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some blocks and some blocks. All right, now you need some blocks so that they can't jump out. And one way that you can do that is like so. All right. And you can have this come across like so. So now they cannot jump out. And your immediate instinct would be to put a block right here. You can't do that. It won't work. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you that it won't work. All right, let's go ahead and do this so we can get out. So I'm going to jump in here, if I could. Thank you. And you'll notice the fan isn't working. The teleporters are working fine. The ice is working. I can move, but the fan isn't working. It's interesting, right? Now watch this. This is really cool. All right, so I'm going to jump in now, if I could. If I could, please jump in. Thank you. Whee! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's a people launcher, let me tell you. So what, what just happened there? What just happened was the coolest thing that I'm glad it did happen. I wasn't sure it would. Is that it accelerates me so fast that the game engine cannot calculate my collision. So I'm going so super fast as it goes through that it's building in speed. And what ultimately happens with the Unity game engine is it doesn't calculate your collision anymore. And it doesn't calculate that you collide with this teleporter. So that means that you're going to go through it. Well, the thing is, you're going so fast that not only are you going to go through this collider, you're going to go through all of the other colliders until finally the physics engine catches up with you. Meaning you have actually slowed down enough to where it can calculate what your collision is going to be. So that's a little science for you. But if I put it here, watch what happens. If I could, I may or may not stop from this. There we go, see? There you go. So you've gotta be careful how you do this. Now here's one really awesome thing. If you put, no, not there. If you put a structure behind this, Sometimes it will stop you before you get there. There you go. And that's how you end up behind the teleporter. Interesting, isn't it? I'm telling you, the game is weird. So, when you build this, go ahead and put this block one behind the teleporter, okay? Then, two blocks behind that, put two more blocks. You don't have to make it two blocks. I think one block is sufficient. But I've tried it with one block and sometimes I slip through. I've also tried this. That's not a big enough gap. All right. Now, just a big old wall like you're building it in a cave or something. <laughs> the pixie flying. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, just a cave behind you might be enough for that to work. Okay. I am going to do this because I want people to be able to escape from this if they accidentally fall into it. All right. Then you're going to go ahead and want to put a block right there. All right, that is going to help keep the person in so they don't fall behind the teleporter. All right, so there you go. Now, you don't want them to be able to jump out, so your instinct would be to do this, right? Well, watch what happens if you do that. Interesting, it's going much slower, isn't it? All right, 
Um, I need to... There. Got it. Alright, so your, your instinct would be wrong. You don't want to do that. Okay? But you still don't want them to jump out. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some half slabs up here. There you go. And this is where the half slabs come into play. Now, watch what happens. We'll turn this back on. Now it's going full speed again. And I end up somewhere else. <laughs> See, that's because I took away those blocks. So you'll ultimately fall out of the trap. All right, so if you keep the blocks there, they won't fall out of the trap. So there you go. All right, so you, you've seen pretty much the whole build. And now you're thinking, well, okay, now what do I do with this? Well, all you got to do is get out your nifty-difty wiring tool. Go ahead, come right in here, double click on it, can interact to false, and then you can have a switch right here that can go ahead and turn this thing on or off. So you can turn your trap on and off if you want. Also, I recommend putting a couple of blocks right there. That's it. That's the whole trap. Pretty easy, right? So now all you need is the last teleporter I told you you would need. Actually, I don't want to put it there because that might be... You know, I haven't tried to put it here. That could be an interesting twist. Um, we'll put it next to it so people know it's a trap. And we'll put this here. This is a trap. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's going to mess it up, I'm sure. All right, uh, this portal teleports to diamond slab. And, oh, I don't know. Let's use ladder because we're not using that anywhere. Okay, so it's currently off. We'll turn that on. And there you go. Now, it will eventually kick me back out. But what if we have the blocks here to where it doesn't kick me out? Okay. Or will it still kick me out? Let's see. Yep, there we go. Since it likes to kick me out to the side, let's go ahead and put something here and see if that'll go ahead and uh, stop that from kicking me out to the side. Actually, let's try it like that. There you go. I think we got it. Yep, I think we're, we're locked in. Okay, awesome. So now, what are the ways that are out of this? Well, let's say you get stuck in your own trap. Well, one of the things you can do is you can get inside the portal and as soon as you get into one of the the menus sometimes it'll stop you or sometimes you'll be able to go ahead and stop the teleport and you get what it teleports to or you know anything like that so it may or may not lock you in but right now I am locked in I, I could jump up to this but I can't move otherwise so I would have to use the uh, stuck command to get out of there there we go oh what I was locked in on there okay um, so that's one way to get out, is to get in there and try to enter the menu. Now, obviously, if these aren't yours, you're not going to be able to enter the menu. The other way that is to get out of it is, um, you would think you're going to love this. You want to go ahead and use the T command. Okay, let's go ahead and teleport. I'm sorry, you can't. You're moving, okay? But when you open a window, sometimes you'll, you'll get stuck. Now, you can go ahead and teleport, okay? Because now you're not moving. All right, what's the other way to get out? Well, anytime you are stuck somewhere, obviously, you just type in stuck. And there you go. But when you're actually in the trap, sometimes it doesn't work. Whee! <laughs> and sometimes it does. <laughs> so it all depends. So that's up to you to figure that out, how you want to do this. Can you get out of these traps? Sure, any trap can be gotten out of. I mean, it's just a question of trying hard. Um, but... What happens if I block this off? All right. Looks easy enough, right? All right, let's try stuck again. No, oh, it still works. So there you go. It's up to you how you want to build this. Um, like I said, if you build that in the corruption area, that person just ended up in a corruption lake. I'm sure of it. Um, if you build that in the lava area, somebody just ended up in the lava. So, yeah, it's up to you how you want to build this. Um, again, I'm just showing you the method. I'm not going to show you the 100% pure where you can't, you know, get out of it. Because then I won't be able to get out of it if you try to trick me into it. 
But that's the first one. That's the one that requires the fan. So if you'll stay tuned, I'll go ahead and show you the next one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you the second design, the one that does not need the fan. So this thing is really resource light. Uh, the hardest thing to get is going to be this ice slope right here, okay? It requires you to go to a frozen area, either go and harvest some ice or make some ice by, you know, pillaring up real high and, you know, dumping some water. I mean, however you want to get it, I mean, that's, that's up to you. Okay, so we're going to need some ice slope. Actually, we need another ice slope. I got another one in there. There it is. Yeah, don't care. All right. Um, so you're going to need two ice slopes placed just like this. You're going to set one teleporter down here at the bottom of that slope and one right on top of that slope right there. Because you can fall through teleporters if you didn't know that. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and block this off so nobody can get out there. Nobody can get off there. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> nobody can get off right here. And nobody can get out of your teleporter. Okay, so these are the things you're going to want to do. All right. Now, the next thing you want to do is obviously make sure nobody can get out of this, you know, going over the top. So what you'll do is go ahead and place yourself a slab, rotate that. And actually, if you want to, you can even make this taller. And I would recommend it because then it'll just look better. Oh, not there. All right. Go here, there, like that, and there. We'll go ahead and do all this. All right, excellent. Now, what's cool about this is if you build this somewhere like, um, oh, I don't know, in the lava layer or in the corruption layer, uh, they're going to get stuck in this thing, and then you're going to, boom, boom, there's your half slabs there. And then I would just throw in one more right here just just for just cuz okay all right so let's get in here and we'll go ahead and set these all right uh, can I get to this one from here I don't think so okay and actually you don't need the blocks right here on the sides so if you want to go ahead and look at it um, those you might need that one you don't need yeah so we'll go ahead and do it like that there we go that way you can kind of see the outside world as we you know fly through this thing and because I put a slab there you don't need these excellent pare this down however you want all right all right so we already used diamond slabs let's go ahead and use something equally stupid like I don't know uh, teleports to uh, that and I think we've already used dirt haven't we so let's use stone we haven't used stone yet all right so this teleports to hardened lava and the code is hardened stone or uh, stone so this one is going to be hardened this, and we'll just, I don't know, teleports to grass. Because grass, okay? You can leave it blank, but I, I don't want to have a bunch of blank empty t uh, teleporters laying around, so there you go, that's why. Okay, so this one, um, let's go ahead and get our last teleporter in here. And we'll get this going on here. And this one teleports to that, and... Oh, I don't know. What's its code going to be? Dirt again? No, teleports to that. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Okay, so there we go. And we should have our warning sign. This is a trap. Trap. There you go. This is a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Okay. So here's what's going to happen with this. is You're going to teleport from here from whatever sneaky delivery device you come up with. The person's going to fall down here, go down the, the uh, slope, and into the next teleporter. Seems pretty simple, right? It's not that hard to figure out. And there you go. And that's exactly what happens. Now you're like, yeah, but they're going so slow. That's actually better. You want them to go slower because this one, they won't get forced out. They're not getting faster. They're starting at the top from a uh, vertical uh, speed. And they're just going down, 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 pretty much. Okay? So that's all that's happening right here. Oh, if you're epileptic, I'm sorry. I hope you're not. All right. Now, I can jump. I can move. I can do all kinds of things. Sometimes, again, you can get stuck behind. You can go faster, slower, whatever. You can kind of try to get out of it. That's about as good as you're going to get, right? So how do you get out of this? Well, let's try stuck. There it goes. Stuck works. Wow. Way over here is the, is the first place that it found. 
But again, if they don't use stuck or if you build this around to where there's no chance of being unstuck, like let's say you go build it in a big old hole in the wall like this. They might have to pop out somewhere way over here just to be unstuck. And that might be unsafe for them. Like, I don't know, a pool of lava or a corruption lake infested with things or corrupted mirrors. Who knows? The point is that this is one of those traps where, yeah, there is a way to build it to where they won't get unstuck but i'm not going to show you that but i am going to let you figure it out because there is a way to do it the other thing that this has is you can't teleport it won't do it because you're moving okay so there you go stuck oh it didn't work uh oh oh uh oh it doesn't work every time so what do you do in this case if this is you well all you got to do is get in your your teleporter code oh not that one Actually, we want that one. Is take this right here, drop it in there, and it won't do it anymore. Then you just go like that, and it'll teleport you again. <laughs> All right, so you can get out this way. Go ahead, drop that back in there, and there you go. Traps reset. Too easy, right? It's your trap. You can do that. But if you're stuck in there, there's only a couple of ways out. The stuck command sometimes works. Depends on where you are. You can build this to where the stuck command won't work or that it'll be more deadly for the person. You can build this with multiple traps involved. Now, what I didn't tell you, what I didn't show you, is this one. All right. So we got that. Then this one will teleport to that. Okay. Okay. So now, watch what happens. See? I was going too fast to go that direction. So if you change the direction of this, it'll work. I had this working in the other one because it's going... No, actually, I had it turned around. Yeah, that's what I had to do. But if you turn it around, it's actually pretty cool. So, you know what? I, I just I want to do it because it's fun. So let's do that. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. We'll put the block back there. That's a big enough wall to not go through. And let's go ahead and get us... Where did I put my fans? Oh, there they are. I was like, where are my fans? Alright. So we got the fan. Let's go ahead and get this to teleport to... Where is this one teleporting to? Alright, right, let's start over. All right, this one is going to teleport to there. This one is going to teleport, no, there. But we don't want it to teleport to anything. We also don't want that to teleport to anything. There we go. There. Okay, I think we're okay with that now. This one shouldn't need to be reset at all. There we go. So you can mix the two traps. You can still keep them both in a corruption layer or in a lava layer. But now it's going to be harder for the person to get out of whichever trap that you put them in. But don't mix the two layers. Don't like put corruption, you know, on one of them and then lava on the other because they'll they'll be in one trap long enough to offset the other so put them both in that place so it'll be harder for them to figure out a way out and they're gonna be like what am i stuck in what kind of a loop is this in also you know the stuck command will work depending on which one you do so i'll go ahead and fix this back the way it was but i, I just i want you to be in mind that there's a lot of ways to do the trap this is i think the easiest to do with the least amount of material this i think is the most fun but it also um has the most problems with it but again you know you're, we're inventive we're creative people we can figure this out we're creativers <laughs> anyway um i just want you to know that these are traps there are ways out of them but you can build it to where there's not so thank you for watching i appreciate it i hope you learned something why don't you go ahead and stick around for some final thoughts on this okay so here's the thing we just built two very dangerous traps if you will for creativeverse 
Because the thing is, is it tries to kind of circumvent the already very good ways that the developers have figured out for not allowing us to get stuck in traps or not allowing us to, to fall victim to something this devious. Now, of course, here's the thing. You open the doorway for, you know, people to find more devious ways if you try to make it so that devious people can't make devious things. That was a lot of times that I used the word devious. I am a devious person. I'm not denying that. I am a terrible human being sometimes. But I will tell you one thing about this. I'm not putting one of these in my world in such a way that I'm going to trap somebody. Because you know what? That's wrong. Okay? And that's the thing that I'm trying to tell you is use this responsibly. Use it in the appropriate venue. If you're playing a PvP map, meaning that people expect to get killed in your map, this is perfect. Use this. Use this all day long. Use some variant of it. Use however you want. Because guess what? When PvP is at play, we're talking about points. We're talking about leaderboards. We're talking about, you know, rising your way to the top. I understand that. Use Devious. Devious is good. I have seen some amazing Devious things in my time playing games. And usually they're in PvP. Here's the thing. If you're just playing PvE and people are coming to your world just hanging out, don't put one of these in there. Because you know what? They're not going to want to come to your world. And it's going to ruin the atmosphere of this game. And this game is amazing. I love this game. But I don't want to see people coming into the game and using these things irresponsibly. Irresponsibly? Without responsibility. You know what I'm trying to say? So, please, do me a favor. Do yourselves a favor. If you want people to come into your world and respect you, don't put these in your world. Or if you are going to, again, like I said, put them in areas of high sensitivity where people aren't supposed to be anyway. And that anybody who could actually know that it is a trap won't fall victim to it. They say, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I know. Don't go over here. This is actually a trap. That's why I'm labeling these. These are traps. So if you come into my world, don't get stuck in these, please. I'm not trying to get a whole bunch of dead jars right here next to my stuff, okay? <laughs> that, be, that all being said, all I'm trying to get at is, please... Play with love in your heart, okay? Don't do this because you want to hurt people, okay? Do this because you're trying to win that prize. Do this because, you know, something is, you know, vexing you. But again, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I just wanted to throw that out there. That's my final thoughts on the matter because this first or the second one that I had you build, this one that's right behind me, doesn't take a lot to build it and it's really easy to get stuck in one. So be careful of teleporters you go into, especially when you're in somebody else's world. You don't know where they might go. All right, I hope you all have fun gaming, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.